Tonight on Panorama, exclusive access to patients pioneering a radical treatment for an incurable disease. I just melted. My body was just unable to get across the road and I just slumped onto the floor. Multiple sclerosis affects 100,000 people in the UK, most of them diagnosed in their 20s and 30s. This all happened within a couple of months. I had to get a wheelchair. Couldn't cook, couldn't dress myself. It was just scary because you think, well, when is it going to end, you know? Now there is hope that a bone marrow stem cell transplant, usually given to cancer patients, could stop MS in its tracks, preventing lifelong disability. To live without that burden is going to be the biggest release for me and freedom for me. And that, we can't get any better than that. I hope I get the blue kayak. Blue one? Yeah. Most of the orange. Stephen's story was diagnosed with MS two years ago. In that time, he's gone from being a marathon runner to losing the use of his legs. Right. Let's see how well we can wheelchair across this gravel. Before I met us, life was fantastic. I used to do lots of sport, triathlon, mountain marathons, lots of cycling. Um, I also did a lot of climbing. I spent a lot of time with the kids and doing lots of those things with them as well. Now he's back kayaking with his daughters for the first time since his diagnosis. It's really fun, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Because it's like what we used to do, so it's bringing back a lot of memories from before. There's lots of adventures to do, we've just got to redefine what those adventures are. Um, you know, whatever condition you're in, there's always things you can do. Stephen hopes he will one day walk again. He's part of a group of MS patients in Sheffield undergoing a cancer treatment at the Royal Hallamshire Hospital. Paul Kirkham is one of a hundred people a week in the UK diagnosed with MS. I was probably the most active person out of all my friends. And in the last three months where I've had a relapse, it's, uh, I've not been out of house, to be honest. He's being assessed by neurologist Professor Basil Sharrock in the hope of starting the intensive stem cell treatment. Let's take a step forward. Okay, I'd like to see how stable you are, you, you are on your legs. So um, stand there and then I'd like you to...